हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बाय केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट हार्मोन ऑफ हार बॉडी दैट इज ऑक्सीटोसिन दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लव हार्मोन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द सम ऑफ द बायो केमिस्ट्री पोर्सन ऑफ द ऑक्सीटोसिन एंड देन लेटर ऑन वी विल सी हाउ इट वर्कस सो फर्स्ट थिंग दिस इज द रफ डायग्राम मीन्स स्केच ऑफ द ऑक्सीटोसिन दिस ऑक्सीटोसिन इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूरोपेप्टाइड This neuropeptide is composed of two different terms. First one is neuro and second one is peptide. It means it is a short chain polypeptide which is having a nine amino acid only. So this structure, if you see, we are having nine amino acid joined there. I will show you what are the different amino acids there. And second portion is it works as a neurotransmitter. So that's why it is called as neuropeptide. Now, if you see the oxytocin, we have already seen this is a peptide. Uh, it is called as nona peptide. the oxytocin uh, secretions normally done by two important parts of hypothalamus and later on pituitary that is paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus and uh, supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus so if you will see here uh, this is the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus and this is the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus from there it is going to be released and then it will be coming to the posterior pituitary so the production occurs at two different places paraventricular nucleus and supraoptic nucleus of hypothalamus and then it is released by the posterior pituitary which you can see here now this uh, oxytocin have two important uh, function in our body that is first it is going to facilitate the child birth which is also called as parturition or uh, it's called as labor pain also labor and second one is lactation oozing out of the milk release of the milk from the mammary gland of our lady and releases both in case of male as well as in case of female so we will see what are the different function it performs in male as well as in the female the oxytocin if we'll say uh, first it helps in the cervical dilation so both places either it is uh, for the child birth or it is for the mammary gland both places normally it is going to cause muscle uh, relaxation and muscle contraction and relaxation so it facilitates child birth as well as the milk oozing out so in the child birth it helps up with the cervical dilation and contraction of the muscles so that child birth takes place and when breast feeding at the time of breast feeding it allows milk to be let down from the nipple uh, so these are the two main function the other than this one this also perform number of other functions later on we will see all those functions so the oxytocin uh, which is a nona peptide hormone normally produced by as in the form of pro pre pro hormone pre pro hormone means after two steps of the uh, protein synth processing it is finally going to give us the active hormone i will show you that uh, diagram also so oxytocin produced as a nona peptide hormone along with the oxytocin carrier protein that is called as neurofycin so this is uh, nona peptide you can see here this is oxytocin and this is vasopressin both comes from posterior pituitary and both are having 99 amino acid both are nona peptide the basic structure of vasopressin and the oxytocin is almost same except two amino acid differences the amino acid number 3 if you'll see here that is the difference and the amino acid number 8 that there we are having difference rest everything is same in case of both oxytocin and vasopressin or adh this uh, oxytocin is having whenever it is going to produce its half life is only 6 minute the last hydrolysis when uh, this oxytocin is going to be produced in the form of pre pro uh, hormone so the last hydrolysis which releases the active ex- oxytocin is catalyzed by a specific protein the name of that particular pro- protein is called as peptidoglycine peptidylglycine alpha mediating mono oxygenase in short form we are going to call pam and this pam requires vitamin c for their activity outside the brain so oxytocin not only produced by the hypothalamus and posterior pituitary but rather than it is also produced by some other important organs of our body but in very small amount so those small amounts are non significant compared to the production from the hypothalamus and pituitary so that's why we normally not uh, means are going to write or going to consider 
दोज ऑर्गन्स एज ए ऑक्सीटोसिन प्रोड्यूसर्स सो अदर दैन ब्रेन इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोड्यूस बाय कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम एंड प्लेसेंटा इंटरस्टिशियल सेल्स ऑफ द लेडी रेटिना एड्रीनल मेडुला थाइमस एंड पेनक्रिया सो दी आर दैन अदर ऑर्गन्स अदर दैन द ब्रेन विच प्रोड्यूसेज ऑक्सीटोसिन सो दिस इज हाउ दिस ऑक्सीटोसिन इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्रेस्ड फ्रॉम द जीन सो फर्स्ट वेन वी दिस इज द ऑक्सीटोसिन जीन विच गिवस अस प्री प्रो ऑक्सीटोसिन इन दिस प्री प्रो ऑक्सीटोसिन वी आर हैविंग थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स वन इज इट्स सिग्नल पेप्टाइड सेकेंड वन इज ऑक्सीटोसिन एंड देन वी आर हैविंग न्यूरोफाइसिन विच इज ए कैर ऑक्सीटोसिन कैरियर प्रोटीन सो सिग्नल पेप्टिडेज फर्स्ट रिमूव्स द सिग्नल पेप्टाइड मोलिक्यूल्स then we are having oxytocin along with the neurophysins one then pro hormone convertase removes this neurophysin and we are having oxytocin along with the 2 3 amino 3 amino acids then later on we are having carboxypeptidase which removes oxytocin one or two amino acids is going to remove so we will have oxytocin along with few amino acids so either this one or this one and lastly we are having pam vitamin c dependent pam which normally removes those amino acid and ultimately we are going to get oxytocin so this oxytocin is final process final steps requires pam or vitamin c which finally gives us the active form of oxytocin so this oxytocin uh, as we have seen it is produced from the hypothalamus then through the infundibulum it is coming to the posterior pituitary and from posterior pituitary it is going to be released into the blood circulation and reach to the different parts of the body their function this uh, oxytocin also works on our central nervous system brain so for that one it has to go to the cerebrospinal fluid so this releases into the cerebrospinal fluid through the infundibulum parts so from here it is going to be released into the cs cerebrospinal fluids and then it is going to affect our central nervous system this oxytocin works through uh, because it is a peptide hormone so it cannot reach into the cells uh, so it it's a receptor it present on the plasma membrane and the receptor for oxytocin is the seven transmembrane helix that is called a gpcr g protein coupled receptor this g protein which is a seven transmembrane helix present in the plasma membrane associated with the g protein g protein normally you know that it is having three component alpha beta and gamma uh, which is gtp dependent Uh, protein so once oxytocin binds there this gtp uh, g, uh, g protein becomes active and ultimately it is going to activate adenylate cyclase so cyclic amp will be produced and finally we a protein kinase will be active and this protein kinase works at different organ different components for their activity now come to the function of oxytocin the first function or the important function of oxytocin is milk ejection re reflex or let down reflex of the milk that is during the breast feeding in the in case of lactating women or the breast feeding mothers oxytocin works on the mammary gland causing milk to let down into the sub areolar sinuses from where it can be excreted via the nipple so whenever baby suckling of the baby stimulate the nerves in the nipple area and areola that travel to the hypothalamus in response hypothalamus stimulates the posterior pituitary to release oxytocin and uh, prolactin so posterior pituitary releases oxytocin anterior pituitary releases prolactin both hormone related to the milk production milk secretion but function is different oxytocin helps in the release of milk whereas oc prolactins normally functions for the production of more milk so milk production is done by prolactin milk release is done by oxytocin so oxytocin stimulates the lobules in the breast and let down the milk milk so that milk will be released and prolactin stimulates additional milk production in the mammary gland second function uh, is it on the uterine contraction so it is important for the cervical dilation before the birth so oxytocin causes the contraction during the second and third stages of the labor uh, during the whole pe uh, pregnancy period means initial phases of pregnancy uh, there will be estrogen and progesterone which normally inhibits the secretion of oxytocin so till estrogen and progesterone will be there no oxytocin will be there 
because estrogen and progesterone will be declined in the late phase of pregnancy in the final um, week or uh, so that time normally oxytocin secretions initiates so due to it and uh, if you have you have already seen the structure of oxytocin and vasopressin so the structure of oxytocin and vasopressin is almost same except two amino acid so sometimes these oxy this oxytocin also works on the kidney and uh, helps in the uh, water homeostasis this oxytocin uh, works in different species oxytocin can uh, stimulate the sodium excretion into the urine so natriuresis will cause it causes natriuresis natri means sodium uresis means presence in the urine so sodium will be excreted into the urine and in human high dosage can result into the hyponatremia so more sodium will be into the urine so in our body normally we will have low level of sodium so that is called as hyponatremia throughout the pregnancy oxytocin secretion is inhibited by estrogen and progesterone which i already have told you in the late pregnancy oxytocin receptor also increases on the uterine wall so that more oxytocin works on the uterine contraction and child labor pain so if um, this uh, lack means uh, oxytocin helps in the milk production and the child labor that is the two important function other than these two functions there are a number of other functions also like in case of non pregnant uterus uh, like a uh, lady which is non pregnant in that case the oxytocin works on the uh, female genital tract and facilitate the transport of sperm after the intercourse sexual intercourse so in the male also it is going to help in the uh, sperm longevity sperm travel and in the female genital tract also a sperm will be transported up to the fallopian tube with the help of this oxytocin so oxytocin normally causes reverse peristaltic movement in the uterus uh, sorry in the uh, fallopian tube on uterus so that sperm will reach up to the fallopian tube for fertilization that is in case of non pregnant uterus severity of uh, sensitivity of the uterus to oxytocin is accelerated by estrogen and decreases by progesterone this oxytocin also have effect on cardiac our heart tissue uh, so oxytocin and oxytocin receptor are also present in the heart uh, in especially in some rodents and the hormone may play a role in the embryonal development of the heart by promoting cardiomyocyte differentiation then it uh, causes the modulation of the hypothalamic adrenal axis oxytocin under certain circumstances indirectly inhibit the release of adreno acth adrenocorticotropic hormone and cortisols and those situations may be considered as antagonistic to vasopressin then it also prepare fetal neurons for the delivery uh, so crossing the placenta maternal oxytocin reaches to the fetal brain and induces a switch in the action of neurotransmitter gaba from excitatory to inhibitory then last uh, it is feeding a key um, feeding behavior a key role in suppressing the appetite under normal circumstances that is done by oxytocin so these are number of other functions are also done the function of oxytocin especially in case of male in the male the release of oxytocin increased during the ejaculation sperm ejaculations it facilitates the release of sperm into the urethra by causing contraction of a smooth muscle fiber in reproductive tract particularly the vasa differences so sperm will be released sperm will travel and then in the female uh, reproductive tract it will be facilitated to move to, to reach to the uh, fallopian tube so that it will cause fertilization not only this one oxytocin also benefits on the mental health and happiness like it is anti stress if having it is having anti stress effect it is having social connection reduces anxiety uh, build trust trust uh, means trust improves moods and sexual arousal and organ so roughly it is all you can call it this is a honeymoon hormone so it is responsible for the attachment bonding love normally experiments also so that whenever we are going to have a pet so if you are going to play with pet that time also our oxytocin level rises so oxytocin not only causes the milk production milk release and the uh, uh, child birth but it also responsible for our social relationship how we interact with each other how we behaves with each other 
if you'll see the oxytocin in our life span so from birth to death at every places oxytocin have a several roles like at the time of birth it facilitates the parturition by uterine contraction then when child is growing that time during by lactation it is going to uh, lay down the milk and milk will feed uh, baby will be feeded on this milk then during the childhood it is have increased the attachment of baby with the mothers uh, so that maternal behavior proper parenting will be there then when adolescent age will come that time social recognition and social interaction will be there how you play how you recognize each other then when it, adult will be there that time bonding love affection hate social behaviors aggressions so all these things will be facilitated by the oxytocin so oxytocin normally depends means uh, regulates yeah have a, 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 a means a, a very important impact on every stage of our life as a summary oxytocin this is the summary of oxytocin and their functions oxytocin is a neuropeptide produced by hypothalamus secreted into the blood stream through the posterior pituitary gland where it interact with the oxytocin receptors oxytocin play many roles plays a critical role in maternal behaviors childbirth and breastfeeding social bonding and attachment during breastfeeding it is secreted in high amount into the mother and baby's brain which helps to create a deep physical mental and emotional attachment between the, between the mother and the baby oxytocin helps uh, feel people connected and loyal to the friends family and pets oxytocin is a master hormone that mitigate the body's stress response and help buffer against the determinant impact on the chronic stress and last oxytocin plays an important role in this sexual and romantic relationship many women and some men are not interested in sexual activity until their oxytocin level reaches to a certain threshold amount social value so oxytocin normally uh, decides our family relationship social re responsiveness social relationship everything oxytocin which is a natural hormone pro uh, produced by our uh, hypothalamus released by our uh, posterior pituitary and normally uh, required for breast mother milk release as well as the uterine contraction we are having another uh, synthetic uh, of form of the oxytocin that is called as pitocin which is normally administered via intravenous to start the uterine contraction uh, to induce the labor pain in the uh, mother at the time of in the late phase of the pregnancy if uh, normal delivery of baby is not going to occur so pitocin synthetic form of oxytocin which induces the labor pain in the mother so this is roughly all about the uh, oxytocin their uh, functions their introductions and their main functions hope uh, you have understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it you can share the video with your friends thank you very much have a nice day